What's good everybody man? This your boy Cologne King 777. I'm at work. As y'all can see, I'm on the balcony. Check out the view. You know what I'm saying? And y'all see this big building behind me? This big old huge building right here. I'm known as the fragrance guy up in this building, man. You know, I have a little fragrance army inside, you know. So with that being said, man, I want to tell y'all about Parfums Vintage. And I'm gonna tell y'all about my Creed of Venice search check this out so before I, I got into the fragrance collection game you know what i'm saying the fragrance industry you know what I'm saying? i always love perfect uh cologne and stuff like that so you know i always had a small collection you know what i'm saying it was a bunch of cheap stuff too you know adidas stuff like that and um i was walking in the hallway and this guy had on some cologne man i didn't know what it was i was never brave enough to ask him but found out later it was creative venice so before he told me what it was i thought it was dio savage because i heard the hype about dio savage so i went out to sephora bought dio savage i took it back kind of like man it don't smell like what i smell like in the hallway went to belks bought it and i'm like man okay dio savage is i love it i like it but it's not what i'm searching for you know what i'm saying so i said what if it's Versace arrows so i end up Remembering I had smelled the sample a long time ago, and I'm like, yeah, it's probably the Versace Eros. I caught it to sale on Fragrance Net. Uh, smelled it, it wasn't the same. I'm like, I don't know what this man have on. Anyway, long story short, he told me he was wearing Creed of Venice. I was like, dang, Creed of Venice. I looked up the price, it was two, three hundred, four hundred dollars. I'm like, uh, nah, I'm good. You see what I'm saying? That as my collection game was getting stronger, you know what I'm saying? I was 20, 30 fragrance deep. Uh, I read about a Marf. I'm like, okay, let me check out uh, the Marf house, you know, Club Dang the Week, Intense Man. So I bought it, and I'm like, man, this is pretty close to what dude had on, you know what I'm saying? But I can smell the chemicals in it, man. It was too harsh for me. I was like, I, it almost made it feel like I had pressure in my lungs when I sprayed it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't like that. So I ended up selling that to my brother, and I'm like, man, you know what? I'm just going to give up on Creed, man, and the Creed DNA. Whoever had Creed, they can have it. I'm going to just stunt with my... Uh, you know, my um, Dio Sauvages and stuff like that, Parfum de Marlis and all that stuff like that. And then, you know, I'm looking on YouTube. You know, there's a lot of people I, I follow on YouTube and things like that. And I saw Parfums Vintage. I'm like, man, I've been seeing about Parfums Vintage for a long time. Let me see what these people are about. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I read, I watched the video about Parfums Vintage Intense and stuff like that. But then I saw Emperor. I'm like, okay, Emperor, the guy said it was a holy, it, it, it was a clone to the 2016 batches of Creed. So then that caught my interest. I'm like, well, I got to check these people out, man, see what they're about. So I pulled the trigger on Parfums uh, Vintage Emperor. I'm going to show y'all the bottle. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let's see, hold up. Let me bag it. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see it. Pretty simple bottle, got a little pineapple on it. I like the box, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, like B, 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 man, who care about the box, man? What, what about the juice? I sprayed this joke on me, man, I promise you. I thought I had Creed of Venice on. I thought I had Creed of Venice on. I got so happy, man. I'm talking about one little baby spray filled up my, my bedroom, man. My wife was like, man, that is strong. I'm like, man, I barely sprayed it. I did one little squirt on my hand. And that joke would last all day. I went to bed, woke up in the morning, man. I, it was like a skin sin on me. I'm like, yeah, this it. This it. it had, I had, my, my, my creed search was over. But then I was like, nah, man, you know, you got to get you some creed before you go do that. You can't go off of the smell that you smelled in the hallway. So then I brought the bottle to work. I took it to the guy who always wear creed. Because there's a couple of them in here who wear creed. And you know what I'm saying? And uh, what happened was he, he looked at the bottle. He smelled it. He smelled itself. He said, man, this is almost identical. He said, Parfum Vintage just have a little bit more uh, fruitiness to it. You know what I'm saying? So i like, okay, cool. He said it's almost identical. That's good enough for me. Right? So then I put my partner on who worked with me. He uh, smelled that he wanted Parfums Venice Extract. Now, I want that too. And in the future, I may buy it. You know what I'm saying? But um, he ordered it. He got a sample of that. And he ordered a two millimeter sample of Creed. And he brought it to work today. I brought my Emperor. He had Emperor Extract, extract uh, sample and, and uh, uh, Creed. I sprayed Creed on my right hand. 
X straight on my left hand. I put Parfums Vintage Emperor on my forearm. And I, when I tell y'all, it was no difference. I was shocked, man. I was like, man, if I would have bought Creed for three, four hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? I, I would have been hot. I would have been mad. The only difference I found was that Creed had like a bergamot, like an orange type of opening. The oil opening was different. Parfum Vintage was just like straight pineapple, fruity juiciness. You know what I'm saying? And Creed had that bergamot. It had some pineapple like came through later, but you know what I'm saying? It had a kind of slightly different opening. But after about five minutes, man, it was identical. I couldn't tell the difference. I brought my supervisor over. She smelled my right hand. She smelled my left hand. And she picked my left hand. I said, you just picked Parfums Vintage over Creed of Ventus. Now, what batch she had, I don't know. Maybe like the 18, whatever. Maybe the 19. Maybe some of the new stuff. I don't know. But she picked Parfums Vintage over it. And it was strong. It was booming off my hand. You know what I'm saying? I went to a, a guy who who was in a, another department inside my building he had creed i told him smell my right hand smell my left he smelled my right he smelled my left and he said i can't tell the difference i said the difference is one is creed and the other one is parfums vintage and he was like what he's like man i heard about them he said so that parfums vintage x straight he said i'm gonna have to get some of that i said do that do that and i put some more people up on parfums vintage x straight told him to keep it as our little secret because like i said i have a little fragrance army in here you know so um then I ended up running to another lady. She was a younger girl. I said, smell my right hand. She smelled it. Smell my left hand. And um, she said, I like the left hand. What is it? Parfums Venice Extract. Everybody picked that over Creed of Venice. And I was shocked, man. I said, I'm satisfied, man. So Parfums Venice, y'all did a good job. Keep up the good work. You know what I'm saying? Keep up the good work. Uh, to me, my, my Creed itch has been scratched. Um, in the future, sometimes I don't know when I'll probably order perfumes in the X-Straight. Um, but I just want to tell Damien, I forgot your last name, but Damien and the rest of the perfume vintage house, man, everybody who put their hands in on this, man, y'all did a good job, man. You can it smells identical. It don't sm it doesn't smell synthetic to me. It smells like the real deal. Like I say, and today, I, I hit myself right here. Bing, one little spray. Bing, one little spray instantly man sent trails in the hallway my my room it was just sitting in the room a guy came in he was like man what you got on bro you know what I'm, saying? I'm like dang i barely even sprayed it man this is it man so hey y'all got a new customer customer perfume vintage man i'm a shop with child man y'all got some uh judging off of emperor and emperor x straight man y'all 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 doing a good job man keep it up this your boy cologne king and i'm out man Creed of Venice, Creed of Venice has been dethroned. I don't even want it anymore. I'm going to shop with Parfums Venice. Peace.